Good morning, y'all. This is David, the Georgia photographer, and today we're going on a photo adventure in Asheville, North Carolina. Come on. And this involves one of my subscribers, Jim Worthington, is going to meet up with us here. So all I brought on this little excursion is my tripod, and I brought two camera bodies. I brought an APS-C and a full frame, and I done that to kind of bend the rules, so to speak. The APS-C camera is my Leica CL, and it's 24 megapixels, so what that'll allow me to do is stick my 135 on it, and it'll give me a field of view of like 200 millimeter. So I can go from 28 on the full frame all the way to 200 effectively on the, on the APS-C. So that kind of bends the rules, plus gives me redundant camera bodies with the same lens mount. It just kind of condenses the gear, so to speak. And now we're in Asheville. We're just a few miles from the Biltmore Estate. It's a beautiful place. The weather's wonderful. I have Jim with me. Hi. Jim is a- Attorney. Yep, lawyer and photographer and- General what have you. Supposedly he's a mechanical engineer. <laughs> he's got- like, A long time ago. He has a bunch of hats he can wear. <laughs> <laughs> but he has an office here, so it's kind of convenient. So we met here and we're gonna shoot street photography and maybe some architectural things like that. Then we're gonna- possibly go somewhere and get a sunset photo this evening and we're just going to take you guys along and show y'all what we get into Been doing street photography here in Asheville and it's really kind of hard to do especially when you want to build like multi-element images that tell a really compelling story it's just kind of hard to come up with something interesting so there's been a lot of observing and very little photo taking but we've got we've got a few pictures that are worth looking at and we got down here to the overpass and they had some really interesting artwork and there's some juxtaposition photography with some stuff there and I'll share those photos with you now well, we ate lunch, so now we're back to looking at street photography. Of course, the buses had to go by about that time. That's the way it is. I never pick a nice, quiet time to talk to you guys. But now we're looking for what, we, what our nickname is um, trilliums or triplets or triples of anything. Well, we're not across the road. So I'm looking for three items that, for a frame that work together to create an image. And that's what I was kind of explaining to Jim here. And you know, just taking a single element, you can do that, but you have to approach it a different way to make it interesting. And this girl's singing beautifully. That's gotta be copyrighted. <laughs> So we've been walking around downtown. We've taken quite a few photos. We're a little bit tired, so we're gonna take us a little bit of a siesta, link back up, eat supper, and hopefully go do an awesome sunset photo tonight at the Max Patch, which is on the Appalachian Trail. Okay, we're gonna eat pizza, then we're gonna go up to Max Patch and try and get a sunset photo. So let's do this. That hits the spot. Yeah, this is called All Souls really good pizza joint in Nashville. If you get a chance to come here, it's worth it. Well, we've made it to the top of whatever this mountain is that Max patches on. And now we have to hike up there to get to where the actual observation area is. Is it cold, Teresa? No, I'm not very cold yet. That'll change, it's already <laughs> 65 outside. <laughs> I have my blanket in my coat. I'm all about some easier way. Yeah. 
and just like that we're almost on top it's a pretty good hike up here it says three tenths of a mile to that sign and it's like another tent they lied to you to get onto the summit <laughs> it's trickery through signage how y'all doing hey it's right here it looks like the sun is behind a huge cloud bank so we'll see we'll get up here and set up for it and we'll see what we can get when the sun does go down Here we are at the top. Let's see what it looks like. All right, y'all, here's the deal. The sun is right over there. Let me show you. You get it, don't you? The sun's behind a giant cloud bank. <laughs> well, it was worth the hike. The view is incredible. We still took a bunch of pictures. So I've got a few photos here and there. We'll see if any of them turn out. There's a ton of people up here with cameras too. So we aren't the only ones. It's a chance you take. <laughs> It'd be beautiful with a with an amazing sunset. The clouds got us. I, I don't know where they're at. Did, did, did you hear that? It's it it's it's a sound like something's on the mountain. I'm gonna, I have to go.